All right, let's talk about SystemD timers. So a timer is what is used to start a corresponding service at a specific time or on occurrence of a specific event. The timer and service need to have the same file name, just as we have seen for the sockets. And in, in the timer, you can use on calendar to specify when the timer should be started uh, in a Cron-like style. And you can also use on boot sec or on unit active sec to run the timer based on other events. When using timers, the timer is enabled or started and not the service. And for more information, have a look at the man page, systemd.time. Oh, and in case you wonder how significant are these timers? Well, these timers are replacing good old cron jobs. Uh, on modern distributions, and you will see that on CentOS, for instance, uh, cron jobs are not the standard anymore. Systemd timers are the standard for anything that needs to be scheduled in the future. Let's check it out. So let me start using systemctl list unit files minus the timer. Uh, I like this option list unit files because list unit files is showing all the unit files, not only the active units. Uh, as an alternative, you can use list units if you only want to get information about stuff that is currently running. Now here, for instance, we have log timer. That's something that previously was started by uh, using a cron job. And now uh, it has become a systemd timer. So what is this doing? Well, systemctl cat on log rotate the timer is showing uh, the timer section on calendar is daily. Accuracy sec is one hour and persistent is true, which means we want to run it every single day. Uh, more or less at the same time. Accuracy sec is one hour. That means within a one hour difference of the previous time it was uh, started. If you want to know what exactly the meaning is of all these options, uh, use man, man on systemd.timer, which is showing uh, what you can do inside the timer. But there's also man systemd.time, which is more specifically uh, about the time and date specification that you can use in your systemd timer. Good, let's check out another one, uh, and that would be the FS trim. So systemctl cat on FS trim dot timer uh, is running FS trim uh, on a weekly basis. Now, what is FS trim? FS trim is about optimization uh, of storage on SSD devices. So if you're on SSD, it makes sense to run this. Uh, and uh, you do that by using systemctl enable dash dash now fs trim dot timer. And that is going to make sure that the corresponding fs trim dot service is going to be started uh, on a weekly basis. And that's all there is to say about systemd timers, the replacement of cron in modern Linux distributions.